What is up guys, my name is Loverfella and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved on our prison Primitive Plus server. And uh, first off, I want to apologize for not making a video yesterday. I had one ready, um, I had it recorded and everything, had it published, and then it turns out it was a video that I had already published. For some reason, I rendered the same video twice. And uh, I don't know, I don't know what happened to the original video, so I'm just going to go ahead and make a new one today and we'll get this up for you tomorrow. So, two days with nothing, hope you guys don't hate me, but sometimes life gets in the way and uh you know fireworks and all that which were freaking awesome so if you aren't an american out there you should be jealous because we get some amazing fireworks this time of the year and they were awesome like my heart stopped incredible incredible experience one of the best shows i've ever seen so since i've been gone i really haven't played on this server in like four or five days this guy glowing steel has been a great commenter great guy in uh, our channel and has joined our our server here so i'll have to wait till he's online to actually invite him to the tribe but I got on and I was like, what the heck, is someone invading us? Because there was just a boat sitting on the shore here. But yeah, he's got, looks like a couple dinos and a nice pteranodon up there. And uh, that one's actually got an egg. Can I take that egg? If I can get up here. Hello, my friend. Let's uh, let's just let's just take that. Yeah, perfect. Got a dilo egg. So on our base, a lot of levels have happened. A lot of birds have leveled up, a lot of turtle level ups. But uh, nothing really huge has changed. The house looks the same. For some reason, a lot of stuff has been demolished, and I haven't had a chance to ask whoever did it why. Not that I'm upset or anything, just there was like a couple beehive things that are now gone and stuff like that. So, um, it looks like our house is pretty impenetrable at the moment, like I don't really see a way that people are going to be able to get in here, at least this far, I've never seen anything that can do it. And so what I really want to focus on doing, and as boring as it is, is getting a crap ton of metal and starting to build like a... Uh, what are they called ballista or whatever a catapult or something like that and I want to see what kind of damage they do to stone structures and what do we have here this is new this is new hopefully you guys aren't online all right who is this tribe the the tribling noses okay dang that's a lot of work in like five days what the I got two rexes wow all righty must have a lot of people in this tribe compared to me even still, that's a okay. That's crazy. Anyway, let's go ahead and take this metal. Looks like they're kind of pillaring off up here, so no one can build up here. Wow, that is going to be a force to be reckoned with, and they are right next to us. Oops, wrong, wrong tool, wrong tool. That was a mistake. Looks like when we get into battle, we're going to have to start taking these guys out as quick as possible. And maybe once we get our uh, catapult and we get on when they get on, we'll break some things. You know, destroy some lives. I don't know if I've said this, but uh, I'll save that to eat. And what's our weight? 148. I rate my success in this game as badly as it sounds on how many how many hours of work I ruin. So, it's nose itching again. It always happens. So, like, if I'm playing and I destroy, like, a base the size of that and say it's, like, 80 hours of work between five people, but I only played for 20 hours, then I consider that a successful gameplay. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty... It was pretty brutal, but I like taking them down. I like ruining people's days. It gives me a nice rush. It's pretty, pretty nice. Do they have a? Sh Do they have two sharks, or are those wild? I can't tell. Nope, they have two sharks. Whew. That is ridiculous. We pretty much have the smallest base ever, then, in comparison. <laughs> Although we do have some nice pterodactyls. All right, let's get this stuff in there. Get it smelted. We are going to need so much metal. It's ridiculous. But at least we don't need metal to build the outside of our house because oh whoa, look at that 139 all of this charcoal we can make some gunpowder out of that stuff and uh we need some wood we don't have any wood all right well let's go ahead and take a look down here see if we have any wood in our storage units take out some thatch take out some wood take out some fiber some of that and we'll just bring all this stuff upstairs place it in here that way sorry I actually need some of that wood come here friend we need to repair a plate body oh come on I need hide okay we'll repair that we'll repair that later let's get this cooking let's just get all the wood in there let's get it all cooking and let's figure out how much metal we still need to make our metal structure is it weapon no what would that be under armor structures defenses no 
big traps. Metal, there it is, there it is. 300 metal ingots, we have 144, so maybe one more metal run, and then we'll have to collect some wood stone and hide. And for useful, just useful for taking down large dinos and structures. That's awesome. And is there a catapult? Hey, there is. Let's see. Is that also here? That takes 300 mil. Particularly offensive against structures. Yeah, we're going to need one of those too. And we're going to need that on a siege dinosaur. We don't really have one tamed yet. And I'll have to wait until... I guess I won't have to, but I prefer to wait until I have someone else on with me. It's a lot easier to tame things like brontosauruses and quetzals when you got an army. It's just so difficult. Like, I've tried so many times. I put in 230 hours into this game. Which is not a lot compared to some people. But I have tamed one quetzal in 230 hours. The rest of the time, I've traded for it. Because it's just so hard to me. I know there's like all these techniques. Like, you can grapple hook it and float down. Or you can, uh, like, shoot it on your bird and parachute off. Like, all these, all these things. I've never tried some of the newer ones, but... I just hate taming quetzals. Every time I do something goes wrong. Knock it out, falls on a T-Rex, or it falls in the water, or the ocean, or something. One time, had, the only time I tamed it, I had a guy help me, who had a quetzal. And he basically built this box around the top of the quetzal, right? And we got way too much stone on us. He built this box that essentially trapped the bird inside the box. And so I tamed it, or knocked it out, and it was knocked out in the air, which was great. Um don't really want to fly back that slow let's just we'll come back for it <sighs> fell on the ground didn't it way low but it basically was tamed up in the sky but the problem was i since i was not in this guy's tribe was not allowed to land on his platform so i would have to like dive bomb off the sky try to land on his platform while it was flying through the air with my bird on it and it just was a nightmare just a nightmare and then once we finally get it to almost get tamed uh it falls off the platform straight into the ground and we both end up dying and losing just so much stuff. It's just a nightmare. I think I had a class the next day. I was in college at the time, like, taking classes instead of co-op. And uh, I meant to go to bed at 11 because I had an 8 a.m. And I was like, I'll just get a quick tame in. Maybe two hours. It takes me five hours. Five hours. I, I did not want to spend that much time. And, like, it, it, halfway point, I was like, I'm so committed now. I might as well go all the way. And then, like, three weeks later, I quit the server. I don't know why, still to this day, because I was doing pretty decent. I think the fact that there was already such an established alpha tribe just kind of put me off a little bit. I was like, uh, I don't really, I don't really need that. I'm never going to catch up. They just had so many more players than me, you know. It was difficult stuff. All right. Let's drop this off, and uh, we have a nice collection of pearls in here, don't we? And salt. Still not sure what the salt does. Um... Uh, maybe it's it's probably some kind of crafting recipe. Let's learn the Viking axe. That sounds pretty sweet. Could chop some people's heads off with that. Um, crafted with the grindstone. Okay, grindstone can only be crafted at the construction table. All right, let's make a grindstone. What would that be under? Wood? Uh, probably not wood. Uh, crafting. There it is. I think I actually made a grindstone the other day, but whatever. We'll make another. Can't hurt. Let's pop this bad boy. Right about right. Mmm. Mmm. Right. Right. Mmm. Uh, right there. That looks good. That's a good location. What do we got? Oh, what? How do we get steel? I haven't learned how to get steel yet. Dang. Well, I need to make that. I need steel for both of these. And I don't think... Alright, guys. One second. I'm going to Google how to get steel. Be right back. Alright, guys. I just Googled it. Um, I think it's found in Obsidian. Uh, is what it sounded like when I read the uh, wiki page about it. So, yeah, I don't really know where to find Obsidian on here. Um, probably on top of a tall mountain of some sort. Of which I do not see right now. I have my render distance to max. Looks kind of foggy out. Yeah. There's got to be... I mean, there's 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 uh, iron over here. You'd think there's obsidian around it. That's generally how it is on the other levels. Let's just get down here nice and low and take a peek. Um, a lot of iron. A lot of iron. Because that'd be sweet to have a viking axe. I could chop people's heads off. Like, I don't know. That sounds like something I'd like to do a little bit. I just... 
be enjoyable just a little bit looking for obsidian still let's just go check out a couple of these peaks and see what we find and if i don't um i'll either look it up or expect someone to just tell me in the comments because i'm lazy so if you have any idea where center iron is let me know this is my location right there on that little dot maybe maybe there's obsidian right next to me and i just don't know Ooh, little raptor this would be an odd location to take oh he's suicidal what a, what a way to go, you know? I could have saved him if he would have just given me a chance to talk to him. Raptors have that problem. They're very suicidal creatures because they're they're not as strong as a T-Rex, but they're just strong enough that all the other dinosaurs label them as bullies. It's pretty sad. Stop raptor suicide. That's a big problem. And that purple drop's catching my attention. We're going to go swoop over, pick that up, and kill anyone in our way. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to do that. <gasps> Ooh, another guy inhabiting an island. Oh, I, I thought that... Okay, are you online? Probably not. No one ever seems to be online when I want to kill him. That's a pretty killer spino right there, my friend. I guess the island idea was uh, it's going to fail. Because my goal is to inhabit all of these. Because how hard would that be to raid when I'm surrounded by water? That's the dream. We're going to make it happen. I want to be the island tribe and I want to be in charge of the water. Ooh, another island guy over here. Seems like everyone wants to beat the island tribe these days. Shit and gloves. Lumber wall. Two things of which I do not need. Wow. What the heck? What is this guy doing with so many Rexes? It appears as though... Let's just... Oh, yeah, you're offline. Right. Let's get out of here. I don't want to get stuck inside of them all. <laughs> Okay, dude's like got a Rex army. Um, I was. And here's another guy. What? I thought we were the original. We we were the original, mountain dwellers. But all these other guys popping up around here. Yeah. No, I thought that was my pterodactyl for a second. And someone just got that blue drop, or did it just disappear? It's likely that it disappeared. And I don't see any humans over here. I do see iron. Still no obsidian. Where could the obsidian be? Think like an obsidian. If you were an obsidian, what would be like a location to hide? You know? Got a little boat down here and a weird looking guy. How's it going, friend? Alright guys, I just did a little experimenting and built a new item called the modular table. And I said you could place items on it, but there's no option to interact with it or anything. So it looks like the modular table is just kind of aesthetic right now. Um, maybe in the future they'll let you store things on it, but uh, yeah, seems to be no use for that, so that was a waste of resources. Pretty poor location for it. I'm just kind of looking through here at all these craftables, um, just to kind of see, you know, what, what I can use for future building projects and stuff. Like this spinning mule to spin fiber and cotton into various items. Uh, it takes steel. All that stuff takes steel. Let's get out of there. This is a pontoon bridge. That is cool because this is what we can use to connect our islands. And then a lantern. That's cool. I'm actually not sure how to get glass. I've never done that. Is that a typo? S-T-O-R. Maybe it's not. Never mind. Ignore that. Store wood. Um, store stone, metal. Okay, let's build this. The miner's box. That takes wood and, uh, and a little bit of iron. Let's grab some iron. Hey, perfect. I needed 35. And let's see. What ye old fridges? That's cool. That'd be nice to make a maybe a uh, preserving shed or a smokehouse. I think the smokehouse is better. I have a fermenting barrel, so that makes alcoholic beverages. That's good. We can get drunk out here. It's always fun. You can make bear traps here. Very cool. And a mailbox. Share notes with your fellow survivors. Wow, that's pretty funny. I can tell someone I'm going to kill him. Oil tank. Converts gas into electricity. Oh, can we get electricity? That looks like a late game item though. That looks pretty difficult. Where is what I'm looking for? Storage. And miner's box. And stores bulk amounts of firewood. Let's do it. Don't know what it does, but I don't care either. Okay, miner's box. Let's put you... Should I take this wall out? Should I just take the wall out? That'll give me more space. Oh gosh. Oh, 
Thank goodness. I was just kind of worried the ceiling would fall in. Woo! Always a moment there. Get rid of you. Alright, that opens it up a lot, a lot better. The ceiling is really low. But I don't think there's anything I'm going to do to change that right now. Um, just because it's already, you know, it's already there. What the heck is going on? Oh, it just hasn't despawned. Okay, miner's box. So, store stone, flint, metal, obsidian, and metal ingots. <laughs> I like that. Cool. Very cool. Let's put all of our stone, flint, metal, and iron in there. That means no limestone, though, right? Limestone's none of the above. Okay. Turns out, uh, we got none of that stuff. What was the other thing I made? I made a wood storage thingy. We can... Uh, mm, where are we going to put this one? I feel like outside would be a better spot. Kind of like right here, where that dude broke stuff. And it stores firewood. Now, we did have a bunch of firewood back in these things. Like, we had a lot. And they're missing now. So, the firewood burns longer. That's what it does, if you were curious. Actually, sorry. There it is. A little bit of it. And let's put these planks in here and move it down. I'm a little OCD. Gotta keep it somewhat organized. Bring our stone over to our stone container. And uh, put that in the other place. Obsidian pickaxe. How did we get that? That's cool. That's really cool. Alright. Alright. Drop you off and let's go put our wood away. And don't tell me this organization isn't satisfying to you guys. I know it is. What's going on? Okay, that was lovely. That was lovely. Drop off our firewood. Look at that. Now, now we're living. We're living large. Look at this thing. We don't need a giant house like some of those people. We just need the basics. And some corner towers in the corner that will have giant turrets eventually. Maybe one day. I, I feel like I'm never going to get to the point where I get those turrets. I don't know. We'll see. But I like this new open space. I feel so alive in here. Look at this. I can just crawl around, spin a little bit. Yeah. Enough room to break dance in here. That's pretty cool. Alright. Climb up here. Let's see how our how our iron's doing. Is that enough wood? Uh, I don't know. Sure. Looks good to me. Maybe we just load it up a little more. And let's crawl up here. Because we're going to bed, people. You know what time it is. It's time for me to say goodbye. I'd wave at you like some YouTubers do. But I don't know how to wave. So, I just want to zoom in real close to my face. Right there like that. I want to say thank you guys for watching my video. And I love you. And I'll see you all tomorrow.